Hello, good day everyone. I am Jean Basaya Dagno. For today's video, we will be discussing about the mother of Philippine folk dancing, no other than Francisca Reyes Aquino. For the whole duration, we will be talking about her genealogy, her education, her journey in search of Philippine folk dances, her marriage life, her grief over her loss, as well as the next page of her marriage life and her contributions to the Philippines. So let's start. So again, let's get to know the mother of Philippine folk dancing, Francisca Reyes Aquino. Starting with her genealogy. Francisca Reyes Aquino was born in Lulumboy, Bukawe, in the Philippine province of Bulacan on March 9, 1899. She was the eldest of three children of Felipe Reyes and Juliana Santos Reyes of Manila. Taking a look at her education, well, Francisca Reyes Aquino obtained her high school teacher certificate in 1923 and her Bachelor of Science in Education degree in 1924 from the University of the Philippines. Now let's talk about her journey in search of Philippine folk dances. As early as 1921 to 1923, Francisco began her search for Philippine folk dances to use in classes while a student assistant in physical education. She traveled to remote barrios, rural communities in central and northern Luzon. In 1924, she became an assistant instructor. She quickly saw that with further impact of Western culture, many dances would be lost or extensively modified. She continued gathering folk dances, songs, and games for her master's thesis at the University of the Philippines in 1926. She revised her work in 1927 and published it as Philippine Folk Dances and Games. In this and later collections, the great diversity of dance type, tempo, and music reflected a many-faceted Filipino character. Along her journey in search of Philippine folk dances, she was asked to chair a comedy at a university that would go to the most remote areas of the Philippines to gather material directly from the old people who used to dance them in their younger days. The hundreds of dances were collected and transcribed with close attention to their authenticity and local color, then presented to the Manila public at various dance recitals. The university offered dance classes in physical education department and a folk dance group was formed that toured the provinces to acquaint the people with various folk dances of the country. In continuation, from 1929 to 1931, Francisca's teaching and research were interrupted by two years of study at Boston University as a University of the Philippines Fellow. Receiving a certificate in physical education, the experience broadened her professional interest in the dance as an art form and also equipped her for more intensive field research upon her return. And now, here we go, Francisca Reyes Aquino's marriage life. In 1934, Francisca married Professor Ramon P. Tolentino Jr., the assistant director of the Department of Physical Education, who shared her dream of promoting Philippine folk dances in the physical education curriculum of Philippine schools. In that same year, University President George Bakubo gave tangible support to Francis Reyes Tolentino's research proposal, enabling her, her husband, and university 
colleague Antonio Benaventura to study native dances in Mindanao, Leyte, and Mountain Province and record songs with the aid of Victor recording machine. The expedition gathered material on 38 folk dances and 33 songs and airs. This research inspired compositions by Mr. Bonaventura and other members of the music faculty and a number of public performances which President Bakobo enthusiastically endorsed. In Leyte, they found the tinikling, danced between rapidly clapped bamboo poles and named after a long-legged bird, the tikling, seen in rice paddies. Tinikling has since become a national favorite of both children and adults. In 1935, they made complete notes on 33 folk songs and dances in Mountain Province, 8 in Ilucas Norte, 14 in Ilucas Sur, and 4 in Abra. Typical of her willingness to make an extra effort so that others might know her country better, Mrs. Reyes Tarantino organized the Filipiniana Folk Dance Troupe, which performed for servicemen as a part of the United States Army Special Services for seven months in 1945. Despite of her great achievements and efforts, there comes into a point where Francisca Reyes Aquino has been into grief over her loss. The death of her husband in 1939, after four and a half years of a close personal and professional partnership, tested Mrs. Reyes Tolentino's devotion to her self-imposed mission to enrich Philippine culture by the propagation of Philippine folk arts. Her faith, her daughter, and her deep interest in her life work, however, carried her through this personal loss to greater achievements. In 1947, here comes the next page of her marriage life, where she have married Serafina Kino, Secretary Treasurer of the Philippine Amateur Athletic Federation, an enthusiastic collaborator in presentation of his wife's work. That same year, Francis Reyes Aquino became the Superintendent of Physical Education, Bureau of Public Schools, Philippine Republic. With all her efforts, she has been a recipient of exemplary awards as she was awarded a Doctor of Sciences degree in Physical Education, Honoris Causa from Boston University, and in 1959, a Doctor of Humanities, Honoris Causa from Far Eastern University in Manila, Philippines. She is the author of seven books and numerous articles. And now moving on to her contributions. In 1949, Dr. Reyes Aquino founded the Philippine Folk Dance Society to bring together physical education students, teachers, administrators, and individuals interested in folk dancing. And here again, her exemplary awards. Dr. Reyes Aquino received the Philippine Republic Award of Merit for untiring efforts in collecting, compiling, and propagating folk dances and for outstanding contribution to the advancement of Filipino culture in the field of dance. Other awards include the Cultural Award, UNESCO of the Philippines, the Rizal Pro Patria Award, Certificate of Merit Bulacan Teachers Association, the Ramon Magsaysay Award, and an award for outstanding alumna of College of Education in the University of the Philippines. In 1961, as a continuation of her contributions, Dr. Reyes Aquino was invited by the International Recreation Association on the Cultural Exchange Program to lecture, teach, and demonstrate Philippine folk dances in the United States. That same year, she was given the Rizal Propatria Award, conferred on individuals, Filipino or foreigner, societies, institutions, and other organizations. She taught at major folk dance camps and conducted workshops at many universities and colleges. And she presented Philippine dances and folklore at the Fourth International Congress and physical education and sports for girls and women in Washington, D.C. 
1973, President Marcus gave Dr. Reyes Aquino the National Artist for Dance Award for her contribution to the preservation and propagation of folk dances of the Philippines. For many years, Dr. Reyes Aquino was a consultant to the world-famous Bayanihan Folk Dance Group, which continues to perform in the major capitals of the world. The University of the Philippines Dance Group, founded in 1988 by Dr. Reyes Aquino, continues to perform for local audiences. With her contributions, the Cultural Center of the Philippines has named one of their lower basement rehearsal halls as Bulwagang Francisca Reyes Aquino in her honor. The hall is for theater, dance, music, arts, and occasionally for lecture demonstrations, artist interactions, master classes, and workshops. Active in organizations is program related to her work, Dr. Reyes Aquino was a member of the Women's Athletic Committee of the Philippine Amateur Athletic Federation from 1940 to 1954, and again in 1955 to 1956. She also served on the Curriculum Committee of the National College of Physical Education, the National YMCA Board in 1945 and 1946 the Entertainment Committee of the International Society for Education in 1960, and as a member of the United Nations Association of the Philippines from 1956 until her death in 1984. Because again of her contributions, a memorial fund was established in her name and Lula Kikai, a musical based on her life has been staged. Among Dr. Reyes Aquino's publications are Fundamental Dance Stops and Music, Manila in 1957, Philippine Folk Dances, Manila, Volume 1 in 1953, Philippine National Dances was done in New York in 1946. The most remarkable contributions that she have had was the Philippine Folk Dance and Games with Petron Ramos in New York, 1927. Dances Dr. Reyes Aquino thought include Alahoy, Apat Apat, Baingles, Basulto, Binadyong, Himig Senayon, Kalapati, Lubi Lubi, Maglalatik, Manang Biday, Polka Senayon, Tiklos, and of course, Tinikling. So that's the end of our discussion today of the mother of Philippine folk dances, Francisca Reyes Aquino. Thank you so much for listening and watching, for spending your time until the next video. See you.